Hello everybody, welcome to Owen Automotive for another restoration video. We're joined by my friend Richard and Nathan from Victoria Laser Cleaning and we're gonna try something entirely new. So I am in the middle of restoring this gearbox, this XKE gearbox, and we see what I've done here with some vapor blasting. This is a normal way of cleaning these parts that uses garnet. But what Richard and Nathan have cooked up for us is a laser system. We are gonna clean parts with lasers today. I've never seen this, I can't wait. And I have this case here. Now this would usually be cleaned also with garnet. And I'm curious, what do you guys think? Is this possible with laser? Can we clean something Definitely. like this with laser? Definitely. Yeah, so you bet. So with this, uh, it's gonna blast off all of the corrosion, all of the paint in seconds. In seconds, it's just gonna vaporize it, I guess? Yes. Yeah. You betcha. No, no garnet left over, no residue, just a clean part. I can't believe it. It's, that's going to happen. Okay, incredible. What do you think about something like this? Now, I run into this all the time. This is a cam cover, and this has been through the parts washer, and I don't like using material in here either. Do you think this will clean it with all that oily residue? Yeah, of course. So the beauty of this, too, is you don't have to worry about any garnet, any residue building up in your oil galleries. Uh, let's say you're doing a block. So with this, it's actually not going to damage the substrate. So you're actually going to refract off of the base material and vaporize any liquid, any residue from oil that you need. Oh, I can't wait. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at the back of the shop with this laser unit. What are we looking at, guys? Yeah, so this machine here, this is a 300 watt pulse laser machine. It uses ablative technology. And it's pretty amazing because it doesn't use any media, it doesn't use any solvents, and it's uh, pretty friendly to uh, the ecosystem. So where do you get something like this? Like, Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is from our company, uh, Victoria Laser Cleaning. It's a uh, new technology. And uh, with this, it's, uh, it's the new kit on the block, really. So it's uh, new technology. It cleans, like I said, without abrasive technology. It's portable, it's light, and uh, it's eco-friendly. Now, another point, too, is it requires a high voltage connection, right? That's correct. Yeah. So today we're running it off the generator. Yes. Yeah, so that'll be a little noisy, so we won't be able to narrate while, as we clean, but I'm really excited to see what this little thing does. So can you talk about the trigger, the, the gun here, the end unit? Yeah, so basically how this works is inside is a series of electronically controlled mirrors. And what these mirrors do is they can actually refract the laser into different patterns and it can affect the cleaning uh, quality of the laser and it concentrates the beam. It's quite the big lens on the back. Holy moly, look at that, impressive. Okay, let's see what it can do. So you guys are very responsible with health and safety. We're putting on respirators. We're at the back of the shop. We're not gonna fill the shop full of dust. You got these um, special sunglasses, right? Visor, so, because if we tried to do this without UV glasses. Yeah, these are special uh, frequency glasses for the laser specifically that yeah. protect um, uh, against the frequency that the laser produces. So we're not just looking cool today. No. Okay, let's see what this can do. Okay, so we have two cam covers here. I'm always trying to get these as clean as possible, and I do not want to use grit. This already went once through the parts washer, and this caked on oil is so hard to deal with. You can't scrub it off, and I'm very curious if there's a touchless method here to clean this, so uh, very curious. Let's see how this goes.
Wow, would you look at that? I can't believe it. Come check this out, Dad. No heat, cleans it up. That is a thing of beauty. Wow, what do you guys think? Let's get to me. That's great. <laughs> yeah, sure beats uh, media blasting, that's for sure. Yeah, wow, that is so awesome. Guys, this is a new paradigm in automotive restoration. When you can clean it inside of an aluminum piece like this, I am blown away. Wow, thanks for coming, guys. This is truly spectacular. doing a review here i mean the first thing i want to say about this is it really looks like magic i see yeah. this circle and i saw the oil and all the harsh residues just vaporizing in front of my eyes i'm blown away guys that's incredible yeah and one of the cool aspects of this too is you can see things that you would normally not see with the naked eye so now we can actually see there's some cracks here where the valve cover is bolted down and maybe even if we sandblast it, it might have more of a dull finish. You might not see that crack. Yeah, so with the yeah. sandblast, the garnet would actually fill those, and it can actually almost uh, shot peen the surface, and you wouldn't notice those cracks. Yeah, so that's really important. This, this level of cleaning allows for expert inspection, which I really do enjoy as well. Now, if we turn it over here, I got a shot of you guys doing the other side, and this was powder coat, and it was just killing that powder coat which is pretty unreal because sandblast doesn't usually touch powder coat very well at all no, right no no powder coat uh it's uh because it's a polymer based coating it uh, likes to reflect the uh, pieces of garnet and the reason why is because it's a plastic makeup right so with this because it's light it has stands no chance it just vaporizes it much mm -hmm. faster and more efficient so i think this process is amazing. I love it. Thanks for coming, guys. And I think for a piece like this now, I'd probably just run a bit of aluminum cleaner in here and it would be ready to go, you know, just wash it, make get rid of that any of that dust that might have been stayed yeah. on there and that would be ready to go. So this was aluminum. Aluminum always cleans up beautiful. Do you think we could try some steel today? We definitely can. Okay, I'm just going to go grab some pieces. Okay, so the next test, we're gonna have this gear sprocket. It's high strength steel. Okay, I'll do this one. And this is again, how it came out of the parts washer. And it would be nice just to have it aesthetically looking a little cleaner, maybe get some of this residue out of there before it goes back in the engine. So yeah, let's see the performance here. I'm very curious. let's see what we got here wow look at that i just took off my glasses it looks like a brand new part and that is so impressive because if i used any garnet it would actually end up in between the bushing and the gear here in this little area and there'd be no way to get it out and now we know there's nothing in there there's nothing that can release in the heat cycles the engine wow that is spectacular guys well, this is something new. I, I'm really into this. So do you have to change the settings at all for the steel? Yeah, yes. so a little bit. So it, it depends with the uh, molecular makeup of the material. So for instance, with steel, it's a little more dense. And so yeah. with that, we do need to change with frequency and the uh, nanoseconds of the pulse width. Okay. Yeah, wow. I'm impressed, though. That's so nice. Um, there'd be no other way to do this other than just getting the scrub brush out, right? Exactly. So 
this is a this is a wonderful wonderful process and not only that the beauty of this too is light is actually a disinfectant oh okay yeah uh, okay yeah. yeah okay so this can be used in the medical industry oh well. medical or food grade yeah. or yeah okay i get you i get you right on okay so let's do the last challenge here we got the gear case to bring over richard's gonna bring it over here and this is really gonna test out the max capability of the machine i believe so we got paint we got rust it looks friggin' awful and i want to paint it up without using any garnet so uh what do you think different settings maybe for this, this or? yeah so we got some it looks like uh, either a lead paint or a powder coat and this is also cast iron instead of yep. cast aluminum so this will be different settings but i'm pretty confident we'll get this up to a nice clean finish you think it'll clean those threads out you betcha oh i'm looking forward to this all right let's hit it up Wow, did you see that? Pretty miraculous. All the paint and rust off of this gear case and no sand inside. I am in love with this process. Well, well done, guys. Oh, this is really impressive. So there were a few different types of passes, right? And Yes. There was uh, multiple uh, layers of contaminants on this. There yeah. Paint, oil, um, rust. So we were able to move all three uh, with one go. That's a good yeah. point. And then Nathan, you were talking about how it, you can actually slightly etch the material, yeah. which makes it even better for paint. Yeah. So depending with surfaces, sometimes when we want to paint apart, we want to actually uh, scuff the surface and make sure we have proper layer adhesion for that paint. So we can tune it to actually do a uniform pattern. So instead of having a nice polished part where paint won't stick to, you'll have a nice keyed surface for your primer. Yeah, and this is ideal really seeing the metal down to bare like this. So it would be etch primed and polyurethane coated ideally, but now it's ready for whatever refinish process you want to use. Yeah, really well done. Congrats, guys. This yeah, is blowing me away. Well, final conclusions. Here's the three different types of material we work with today. And it's so cool. And it kind of proves that this will work with internal aluminum components internal steel components and then also the outside and all the paint and primer that people put on these pieces i'm impressed thank you gentlemen for coming out today thanks for having us i think this does really have a serious application in my field as you can see in these three pieces right here these are the types of pieces that we need cleaned in our industry so i'm so glad there's two people enthusiastic about it and willing to do it so thank you for coming by guys thanks again thanks Awesome. Okay, well, that does it for this video. As always, everybody, I'd like to hear what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.